Welcome to a video from thedigitallifes.com In this video I wanted to show you how you can recover uh, space on your PC Windows 10's hard drive using some of the newer tools built into Windows 10 so you can get rid of temporary files or even previous version of Windows So I'm going to show you how you do that using the settings So to do this I'm going to use settings If you can just type in storage so here you can see the storage settings. Now you can configure this um, to run it automatically. So it'll do things like delete temporary files after 30 days or empty downloads folder. Uh, but I'm going to leave this on manual. The other thing you can do as well with your OneDrive content is automatically purge that so that it's stored in the cloud but not on your local machine. Anyway, so what I want to do is clean up some disk space on this machine. So in here in storage, I can go to temporary files and this does a scan on the local machine drive to see what it can clear up. So here you can see now that on this machine there's a previous version of Windows because I'm running Windows inside a program so I'm downloading new versions and there's 16 gig you can clean up on that. I can clear the log files, my temporary internet folder, delivery optimization that's where the sort of temporary uh, Windows updates get stored. Okay so that's everything that I can clear on them. I can do remove files and that's going to now clear up the hard drive recovering what, nearly over 17 gig right so that's completed now and it's cleared up 17 gig of space so I can now go through here you'll see this so now it's showing that there's only 2 gig uh, in there so we could look at temporary files so we can move some temporary files and we can also look at more categories so you can see pictures and videos and, and so on we can do a look at apps and features and that will show us apps that we've got installed on here. This is only a test built, uh, virtual machine so it's not showing very much but you can see I've got 137 installed in OneDrive and I would have all my other applications on there as well. You can view other drives on here if you've got other drives. But that's the main C drive cleared up and then for the future I can uh, configure the storage sense to automatically clean that up. The OneDrive one's quite a good one as well because OneDrive content, it's on your local machine and in the cloud, so you can say every 14 days automatically clear that up if you don't open the file and um, it will leave it stored in the cloud. So it means your local machine doesn't get clogged up, but any files that you're using all the time, uh, you've got synced on your local machine. And I'm going to clear up some free space as well while I'm here. So that's a quick look at how you can do it. You used to be able to do it, or you still can do it uh, the old way is going through File Explorer, right clicking on your C drive and doing um, this clean up and that kind of thing, but you can right click and do it on there. But this is the modern way and I think this is a bit easier to use and then you can turn that on as well and it'll keep your machine nice and clean for you. Thanks for watching this video, you can find more on digitallifestyle.com you can get me on Twitter at i6.